Why is it Figma makes you a superhero? Almost. Even though it may sound like a joke, it's really not. Figma plugins will save you so much time and it will really empower you as a designer. So in this video, we'll look at six great Figma plugins you just have to try. Hey folks, I'm Tim and today I will be sharing with you plugins for creating amazing assets, plugins for leveling up existing assets, and some handy other bonus plugins. So make sure you stick around till the end. Now, let's jump in. Okay, so we are in Figma and here is the first plugin called Stable Pixel AI. I'm sure you've seen the recent surge of AI generated assets, illustrations, 3D things, everything. This is a plugin you can use in Figma to do that same thing. So if we launch Stable Pixel AI, and by the way, this image here is something I created based on this prompt, this input. So if I copy that and I just change it to something else, let's say car, then I get this result. It takes a while to generate, but I mean, look at this, it's crazy. You can go into this gallery tab and you can see previous renders just scroll here and if you hover, you see the actual input as well. So you can do similar things. Stable Pixel AI. Then we have Majestic AI. Majestic AI. And this does the same thing. So you can see this thing I generated here, a wallpaper based on this input. Now. Now, I only have one more search here. So let's say a, I don't know, let's say a shock art that is anime from a famous artist, say Andy Warhol. Camera type, let's say it's a VHS tape. And maybe, I don't know, double exposure. And holographic. Interesting. So we get this. I mean, it's crazy. And you can see my previous renders here as well. AI is here to take our jobs. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I think us designers were okay. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. Over to the third one, which is called skew that. And it does what it sounds like, it skews things, changes the angles of things. So if I want to change how this text is angled, I can launch skew that and just use these sliders to find a perspective that I want. Super simple, I use this a lot. Apply and it's done over to beautiful shadows. Here we can generate shadows that are beautiful. So let's launch beautiful shadows. We get this little handle that is the light source and I can move it however I want to. You can see how it displays in real time and it adds shadows, as you can see here, multiple layers of shadows to our object and done. Over to the next one, which is wireframe. We launched a plugin, wireframe. And here you have a list of different kits, different wireframe kits. So choose one that you like. Maybe we'll go for, I don't know, simplified wireframes and flows by lattice. And in here, you can find most things that you would need in a flow. And you can grab these, drag them out, drag them out. Here we go, downloading frame. So here we have a frame that is totally customizable. We can remove cards if we want, remove all of these. Maybe we want something else in here. 
and we can create our flows really quickly. So this is great for wireframing. Then over to the sixth one, which is called Table Creator. And this plugin, the first time you launch it, it's gonna create a new page for you. So it creates this page called Table Creator. In this page, you can customize your table. So let's launch the plugin, Table Creator. Now, the components here makes it possible for you to change the layout of your tables. So let's create a table here. Create it. Now, let's say you create a bunch of tables for a big application and you don't wanna go back to each and every one of these tables and change them separately. You just wanna go back to the single cell here and change, for example, the stroke color, maybe not to red, sorry, that's the wrong one. These, maybe not to red in a usual case, but you can see how easy it is to do it. And going back to the actual table here, you can play around with these, this grid system here to create the exact tables you need. How many columns, how many rows, how wide are the cells gonna be? Or yeah, I said columns should be cells. How wide are they? And the positioning of the text within the cells or the items within the text. Everything is customizable and you just create your table and there you have it. Now, what's your favorite plugin? Let me know in the comments below. Until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.